us today for the first installment of the Lift Right Exercise Show. Today, Josh will be performing the ever popular king of all exercises, the deadlift. Anybody wanting to add slabs of muscle to your lower and upper body, you create a stronger, more impressionable physique, and not pass up the deadlift. Thanks for joining us today for this episode of Lift Right, where we'll be covering the ever popular king of all exercises, the deadlift. Still not convinced? Well, let's dive in and get you started. Okay, Josh, assume the position. What are you talking about, Jim? I thought we were doing the deadlift. I know, it's a family show. We'll keep it clean, guys. Now, this is the most common, a basic barbell deadlift. What you'll notice is he's putting his hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, right outside of his knees. Feet are firmly placed on the ground. He's got his toes painting straight forward. And he'll drive the weight through his heels while flexing the glutes and driving his hips forward and keeping his back arched. All right, let's, let's do this. Josh actually has perfect form. He's got his shoulders pinned back, looking straight forward. You want to find a fixed point, something to keep concentrated on. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, you want to keep your weight on your heels and drive through your heels so you don't fall forward on your toes. That's a common mistake that I see. People get off center, start falling forward, and that could lead to a disaster. Notice how Josh is maintaining the full control range of motion and avoid clanking the weights on the ground. That just creates a relaxing point, not to mention irritating other people trying to get their workouts in. Don't be this guy. By the end of this episode, I hope you'll be an expert on the first couple of important aspects of performing these exercises correctly and still keeping it safe. We'll start out with a sumo deadlift. Now in this one, he's got a little bit wider stance on his feet, a little bit wider in the shoulder lip. Uh, he'll have his toes pointed slightly outward, hands a little bit closer. Well, you notice with this particular lift, the sumo, he's got his feet planted firmly on the ground, toes a little bit out. About five degrees duck is what you would call it. Um, hands a little bit closer inside of his knees. Once again, keeping his knees as he goes down straight over his toes. You don't want to bow him in or bow out. That's just setting you up for an injury. Next episode, we'll be covering the stiff-legged barbell deadlift, the sumo-style deadlifts, the one-arm side deadlift, Romanian deadlift, Smith machine deadlift, Smith machine stiff legged deadlift, partial deadlifts. Join us next time, we'll be covering some more of the advanced techniques and the anatomy of the deadlift.